Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now the last couple of weeks have been a bit of a calamity really, just lots of different changes in weather and temperature and snow and flooding. And then of course, as any of you who watched my latest video will know, I fractured my elbow falling on some black ice, which has led me to doing the session that I'm doing today, which is dead baiting. Obviously I can't be doing too much law fishing because that is my real turn in hand. So I've got to be a bit careful. So I'm doing a bit of dead baiting and I've adjusted what I'm doing today to be able to make things easier. And we're gonna go through that right now. So the rigs that I'm using aren't your bog standard treble hook rigs that you're using dead baiting. I've changed the treble hooks out for single hooks. And these hooks are actually specialist car Sharp hooks that I've got on here so super super sharp micro barbs and hopefully they'll do the job today and what this is going to do is make the unhooking process a lot simpler for me with having a bit of a gammy elbow it means I don't have to do much faffing around with the treble hooks are caught in the net or if they're a bit tricky to get out single hooks normally hooked in the scissors and hopefully should be nice and simple we're starting our fishing session today out in the countryside and we're going to gradually work our way to the local town and the reason why we're doing that is because what I generally find with my local waters is that out in the countryside the pike are in general a lot smaller uh, but a lot more eager to take the bait uh, whereas when you go to the more urban areas you get a chance of the more bigger pike but they're actually a lot harder to catch so we're going to start out here now in the more rural location to just try and get a bite get a fish or two on the bank and then we'll work away to a more urban location where we have the chance of catching a real monster fishing sardines and herring herring i've caught my biggest ever pike on in the past so fingers crossed that'll do me good today let's crack on and catch some fish Yep, first fish, first fish. Oh, back line was on. That might make me lose that fish. Didn't realize the back line was activated. Yeah, we still got it, we still got it. Oh, it's tiny. Ow, really hurt my arm then. Oh, I need to be careful here. Tiny, weeny little jack pike. Like I say, hooked up on the single hooks. That's what we're using today to make it safer. Really nicely hooked. I'm probably just going to drop him down into the net, into the margin to unhook him. And as you can see, we've still even got the bait on there. It's one of the larger hooks was through the eye of that. And we're using singles. Ow! My elbow feels like it's popping out. We're using singles to make life a lot easier. And make the unhooking process quicker and less strenuous on my arm. So it does hurt a lot. We're going to be careful. And that's nice and simple. Single hook. There's a bait out of his mouth and a lovely little jack pike to show for it. Honestly, guys, that bait wasn't in the water for more than a minute and it went flying under. Tiny little jack pike. It's what we expected out here in the countryside, unfortunately. But we're gradually going to make our way towards sort of bigger fish territory. So we'll get him chucked back and we'll get cast straight back out there. Because I did think um, I saw another fish top just down the canal. Hopefully it's a bigger one. Right, let's see if we can get another one. Now oh, a float has just gone under. I think it's dropped it. Yeah, it has. Now canals in general don't have quite as much natural structure as rivers and lakes. So whenever you do find any structure, there will more than likely be fish there. I think I want to take. Yeah, 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 really subtle. Ow, my arm already hurts. Let's go. Yep, we got it. We got it. We got it. Only a small fish. Single hook's hooked up though. Oh yeah, keep the rod out. Just over on a snag on the far bank. Oh, beautifully hooked as well, right in the scissor. That's how we like it. 
So right away, things were going according to plan. The smaller pike were feeding out in the countryside, but unfortunately, these fish were even smaller than I'd expected. Only fish of around a couple of pound, and definitely not big enough to put in much of a bend in my three pound test curve cart rods. So now it was time to make the move to the more urban location in the hope that those bigger pike would be feeding. Yep. yep, 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 definitely just got to take, check me, drag with me, get my arm. Well, let's see if we can get the hook set. Fingers crossed, guys. Single hooks. Yep, I think we've got it, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Yep, we've definitely got it. Definitely feels better than the small one we caught earlier. Oh no, it's not, it's tiny. About the same size. I'll take it though. Lovely little jack pike. Well, I came to a more urban location hoping I'd find a bigger pike. And I think I found one smaller than the first one. It's tiny. Where are the big pike hiding, eh? Right, let's try and find this one's mum. We've got about an hour and a half left, maybe two hours left. Let's see if we can get one more bite from a good sized pike. I think I've just had a take. There it is. Check my drag. Oh, I can't with that one, can I? Oh, no, fish up, fish up. That was quick. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got it. Oh, it's a struggle with a busted elbow. That feels like a good fish, actually. Single hooks as well. Loosen that drag off a little bit. It's very painful. Ouch. It's not a bad one. Could be a double. Come on. You're probably wondering why I'm not super hyped playing this fish. And it's because I was in a lot of pain, I had people behind me watching, and I just really didn't believe this fish was that big. I didn't have a clue. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a really nice fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a really nice fish. Yes. Woo, we got it. Pike. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice one actually. <laughs> yeah. Now, during the fight with this pike, from the entire process of hooking it to actually getting it in the net, I never actually realised quite how big it was. I was in a lot of pain with the elbow, I was really struggling, and I just assumed it was a fish, it was possibly a big double, which is an amazing fish, but I didn't quite realise how big this fish was until I lifted the net out of the water. Oh, thanks buddy. Do you want to, I'll just lift it out for you so you can have a look at it before I, I sort it out. <laughs> There might be a 20. <laughs> there might be a new personal best. <laughs> if I don't drop it back in the water. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've done it. Really nicely hooked too on the single hooks. In fact, there's just one hook in its mouth, right in the scissor.
Uh, I think the luck was on my side today. Having a broken elbow. I'm struggling to hold this fish. Oh, that is a pike of 24 pound. A 24 pound urban canal pike. Caught on the single hooks, I changed in my rigging to help me out without a broken elbow, which isn't helping right now. And that is an absolute beast. Biggest pike I've ever caught in my life, probably the biggest fish I've ever caught. Absolutely amazing. What a crock from the canal. Right, let's get this girl well rested and get her back. That's amazing. See, I had a big girl. I have never seen anything like that before in my life. It looks like two pikes stuck together. It doesn't make any sense. What the hell? Got him, we got him. I swear it's two pikes stuck together or something. Gotta be really careful here, I've snagged them. I've just caught that big one. I just let it go and I've looked out to see or have I just gone in the far look to pike like an absolute arsehole there's something going on with this pike sorry I know it's not the best thing to see so I'm far looking at fish but I saw this fish like rolling around on the opposite bank getting stuck in all the sticks and branches it couldn't move Oh my God, look at the state of this fish. Oh my God, look at the state of this, it's huge as well. Oh, oh my God, that is horrendous to see. Now, I foul looked on purpose. I am sorry about that, guys. I don't normally do that. But I saw, I thought it was two fish. <clears throat> I genuinely thought I was looking at two fish. And I thought it was tethered together with line. Um, so I panicked and just started casting out to see if I could maybe catch the line Guys, we've just come from a major high to a major low You can't tell on camera, but this pike's back is bent almost at a right angle This is a fish that should be about 16 pound 17 pound look at the size of it. We've just caught one at 24 pound I thought I saw what it looked like I'll rest him in the net and I'll tell you I thought I saw what looked like two pike tethered together on the opposite bank. You could see a tail come up and then there was the head and then there was all wonky and it couldn't swim properly and it's waddling along the opposite bank and going down into the reeds. They looked like two fish because this fish's back's broken. So I panicked, I thought, shit, I need to get out there quick, a lead, um, just put a lead on and take the bait off the hook, cast it out to it and see if I could tether the line, if it was tethered by a line or indeed foul hook the fish to be able to help them out. Do a bit of harm to do a bit of good, that kind of thing. And when I've hooked it, I've realised it's a pike. This actually looks like it's been dropped and dropped badly. It's a fish that should be about 16 or 17 pound, where his back completely snapped, bent almost at a right angle to the point it can't even swim. And it's so skinny, it probably can't even feed either by the looks of it. So I'll let it go now and you'll see it swim away and you'll see exactly what state the fish is in. That's absolutely disgusting. Guys, did you see the state of that fish? That's a big pike for the canal. That's probably in the sort of top five pike in this stretch. There's not many big fish. Obviously, I've just caught the biggest pike known to be in the canal, which is great. But that is disgusting and disturbing. And I know that after I upload this video, this area is going to get hammered. It's part and parcel of making these videos. And I just want people to be so, so careful. Make sure you've got the right protective equipment. We have got a path here. There is a bit of grass, but there's also a path. So like I've used a mat and the grass at the same time to unhook the fish. Don't get standing up with your fish and dropping them. Make sure you take care, hit the bites quickly. I don't want to see fish in that state. Fish of that size in the canal is absolutely horrible. 
Right, so we're going to end the video on a high note. We're not going to end it on a sad note. We're going to end it thinking about that massive 24 pound canal pike that I caught today, which is absolutely amazing. As far as I'm aware, it's the biggest pike in the canal. In fact, I believe it's the biggest fish in the canal. At least the biggest fish I've ever caught was the grass carp at 22 pound. So that is an absolutely incredible fish. If you want to, feel free to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and I'll catch you guys later. I'll see you to my little hand. Whee!